everyone and welcome back to my channel. Kathleen Hart here from the Little Piece of Heart cooking blog. Today's video, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to share this with you. This is a recipe I've been working on and I've perfected it and I'm here, here for it. I'm here to share it with you. It is a Asian style broccoli side dish that is absolutely delicious. Now this recipe comes in at under 100 calories per serving and five grams of carbs per serving. So this will satisfy anyone and everyone. The best part is, even though it's low on the carbs and low on the calories, the flavor is bomb. You are going to absolutely love it. As always, my blog is gonna be linked down below. You're gonna be able to click on the link, get the full written recipe. So right now, sit back, relax, watch me make this and then go out and get the ingredients if you need to and make this tonight because you are definitely gonna wanna try this recipe. It is the best broccoli ever. Let's get started. Let me show you what you need to make this and then we're gonna head on over to the stove and whip this up and then I'm gonna taste it, tell you how amazing it is and you're gonna run to the store and get what you need to make it. Let's go. All right, the first ingredient you're gonna need is the star of the show, the broccoli. This is five cups of broccoli florets that I trimmed and just cut into small bite-sized pieces. You're also going to need two cloves of garlic, chopped pretty small, some ginger. You can finely dice fresh ginger, or you can use what I love to use, ginger paste. This is the brand that I like to use. Then in here, I have a mixture of olive oil, water, sesame oil, and soy sauce. Lastly, for garnish, we're gonna have some toasted sesame seeds. Those are optional, but I love them in this recipe. First thing is first, we need to get our broccoli steamed. You could easily do this on the stove, or you can take a quarter cup of water, put it right over the top of this broccoli, and then pop this into your microwave for about two to three minutes. I'm gonna do mine for two and a half today. I found that's the sweet spot for my microwave and how I like my broccoli cooked. We just want it to be lightly steamed. So while the broccoli is steaming in the microwave, you're gonna wanna take your medium skillet. This is a non-stick skillet today. Our oil and water combination in here and soy sauce. And we're gonna wanna put this into the skillet and then turn it on to medium heat and we're gonna let that cook and just bubble up just for a few minutes until it's nice and warmed through and by then the broccoli should be done. Also, did I mention this recipe takes only a few minutes to come together? Another perk of how amazing this recipe is. is fresh out of the microwave, nice and steamed, just very lightly steamed as you can see. So we're gonna put that off to the side. Now that we have our sauce nice and bubbly, which only took the same amount of time the broccoli was in the microwave, so about two and a half minutes, we are now gonna add in the ginger and our garlic. You just wanna mix this until the ginger dissolves into the sauce and we're gonna like lightly cook the garlic just so that it's not um, a raw garlic flavor. This smells amazing already. So we'll let that go for about a minute and then we'll add in our broccoli. Now we are going to toss this all together. And now I'm gonna to top it with some toasted sesame seeds. Look at this glorious bowl of broccoli. My favorite part of the video, let's taste this. I'm so excited. Well, I already know how great it's gonna be, but I can't wait to eat it and tell you. It's perfection. This will rival any takeout broccoli that you're gonna go and pay probably too much money for. This is delicious. Let me break it down for you. The garlic and the ginger are not overpowering at all. And I have tested this recipe so many times and I finally got the most perfect ratios for everything. All these flavors just go so well together. Mm, broccoli is perfectly cooked. It's delicious. This will rival any restaurant broccoli that you're gonna go and get. So, this dish, what does it go great with? I love to make this with fresh 
tuna steaks. So recently, my husband has been going to a local like seafood market. We've been getting some beautiful ahi tuna steaks. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you definitely should, because I show in my stories and I've done a couple posts lately of me eating this broccoli with that tuna. It's delicious, especially if you're on a low carb diet. If you're not, add some rice and you have literally the perfect meal ever, in my opinion. This would also go great with some chicken or some shrimp. The possibilities are literally endless. It's whatever you like and enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Also, let me know down in the comments, what kind of videos do you guys wanna see? Do you wanna see motivational tips, diet tips for weight loss? Cause you all know I'm on my weight loss journey right now. Or would you rather see some recipe videos? Leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. So now that the video is over, I hope you run and go get the ingredients to make this recipe and let me know what you all think. But I will see you very soon with a new video, but until then, have an awesome day. Bye everybody.